What's going on guys? Today we're joined by the Portuguese national team player and European team champion Zhao Garrado at the Portuguese national team training centre. Now Zhao has a highest world ranking of 40 and loves to test lots of equipment. He reached out to us recently on Instagram to say he'd love to review some equipment with us and everyone's been asking for a Fanjandong ALC review so we thought why not do it with him. Yeah, you like actually reviewing blades and rubbers and... Yes, I think not many players share this and I think I'm one of the most uh, players who like to test and try new, new material. So um, to make this review for me is really interesting. I'm looking forward to see what this blade uh, make me feel. Yeah, same. Fanjin Dong blades, you've never tried it before. Yeah, first time. Of course, I know the characteristics and as I test many things before and I like it, I pay attention to, to what it shows yeah. and I can see already the characteristics, the kind of carbon, the, the wood also, especially the outer layer of wood is important yeah. also for me. So I can see this very similar to Viscaria and I think when Butterfly makes this kind of blade, they try to make a base on what the player was using. Sure. Hans and Dong was using Viscaria, so... Mm -hmm. I think it's quite obvious that they make a blade based on that. Yeah, so prior to the world number one and world champion Fan Zhendong having his own blade with Butterfly, he has previously been using the classic Viscaria blade, which, like Xiao said, the two blades seem to be the same in terms of composition. Both blades I have are 90 grams. The only real difference seems to be the design. So it's been a long time coming. Fan Zhendong finally has his own blade out, the Fan Zhendong ALC. Well, when we say new blade, he actually has five new blades out. In this review, we focus on the ALC as this is the one he is using. Let's get into it. <coughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to get straight to the point here. The Fanjandong ALC, if you've tried the Bowl ALC or Viscaria, you'll know exactly how the Fanjandong ALC plays. It's very crisp, has a great carbon feeling, but also still enough to well to produce lots of spin. Oh! <coughs> You find it faster than your current setup? Free test or similar? Yeah, I think it's faster. But definitely this is a blade where foreign is natural. Yeah. It becomes easier to play, I feel. Special on foreign. It's interesting because obviously Fanjin Dong lost his backhand as well, right? Yes. And you see many players using this style of blade who have really great backhand. But uh, for me, for my game, backhand I think is really hard to find than yeah. the one I'm using. But then, yeah, foreign I would say, if I could mix yeah. both, <laughs> I'll have the, the perfect one, but you'll never find a, a perfect blade or a perfect rubber. For sure. It's impossible because if you win on some things, you have to lose on other yeah, things. Yeah, interesting. If, if you have a harder blade, you will win on uh, closer mm -hmm. to the table or far yeah. from the table, depends on the player, but yeah. if you have it harder, then you will not have the same feeling on mm -hmm. another situation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Zhao has raised a good point here. I mean, if you're a controlled attacking player, you might find the Fanjandong LC a bit too quick. You'll be better off in an inner force style of blade as you'll have more feeling on passive shots. Now, if you're an aggressive player who likes to attack first, you'll love the Fanjandong LC. It's the right hardness in the world to play strong attacking shots with good consistency. For example, if you compare the Fanjandong ALC to the recent Viscaria Super ALC that we reviewed recently, the Viscaria Super ALC just doesn't have that same control that the Fanjandong ALC gives you. Oh! oh. Fanjandong! Yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting because, okay, it's fast, but there is still control for that kick shot. Yeah. It's fast, but you can still make yeah. these kind of shots. Short movement close to the table. It's Even a complete, it's yeah, complete. It's a complete blade. It's well balanced and I think it's the most used blade overall. I feel like on my backhand I need that, that extra, well, we can say second, but it's not yeah. even a second. <laughs> yeah. I think I need that, especially for this shot. Sure, sure. I think if we play close to the, closer to the table, I think you won't notice so much. This is like different. a beast at the table. Yeah. yeah. But if you go far away, I think that extra time, mm -hmm. maybe a blade with a softer outer wood could be more useful. <laughs> yeah. If you stay close to the table, the touch is it's perfect. You can feel the ball and still sometimes when it's too fast, you feel like if you give a little, a little bit extra, then the ball will go out. But with this one still, you have the feeling you can control that it will go on the table. Yeah, it's, there's still control with that speed, yeah. Ah! <sighs> 
Oh, good kick. Wow, this is good. <laughs> this is so good for this shot. Oh! I like very much uh, for foreign, but for backhand somehow. Maybe it's just uh, it requires more time to adapt, but the, the natural feeling I have is foreign is immediately good. Yeah. One of the key qualities of this blade is when doing top spin strokes. Now, one of the drawbacks oh, nice. is that you do have to be precise when you're under pressure and playing more passive shots, such as blocking. You do need to have good feeling when against that incoming spin. And this is simply because the ball rebounds off the blade very quickly and doesn't have much forgiveness. And that's where blades such as the Inner Force are better in this department. I feel like you can almost smash a little bit. Yeah. You can almost, of course you have to hit always a little bit of spin, but your movement can go like, you Fruitful. have this sound like, like of hitting, like uh -huh. this. Oh, whew, just like that. Oh, I can go full, but it feels nice for first ball. Can you try with your with your freighter? See if you can do the same yeah. with this first ball. We'll see. I try uh -huh. parallel also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Hands and down. Maybe I should switch. <laughs> you can see the the sound and the. Trajectory. Oh. Yeah, you can see now on this kind yeah. of shot that it this is. is faster. Yeah. This is faster. And that's probably why on the backhand side you prefer this because there's a bit more time. More, yeah, more control, more time. I feel like I'm more in control of the, yeah. Of the yeah. point. So it does depend on your style. Oh, oh spinning! Nice. When opening up against backspin, potentially the best characteristic Ooh. of this blade is how much arc and spin you're able to generate. I mean, this blade is stiff. So you would think generating spin and high arc would be relatively difficult. Yet with this AOC, it's not the case and you really get a good bite on the ball. Oh, No! no! So there we go guys, the Fan Zhendong AOC Blade Review. Now, Fan Zhendong, the world number one and the current world champion, has finally got his own blade out. And of course, Butterfly have modelled it completely off the Viscaria. And as we said in the intro, the composition is the exact same. And I compared it directly to Viscaria with the, both the same blade weights of 90 grams. And I really couldn't tell the difference between the two. Of course, there are variations between blades, even if they're the exact same. Two Viscarias of the same blade weight it could be slightly different because obviously it's natural material, but I really couldn't tell the difference between the two, and it's a fantastic blade. So let's see how it stacks up in the T2D blade ratings. So for speed, we're giving it a 9.2. It's a very fast blade, but not too fast so that it's really tough to control. It's got a decent amount of flex and control, but again, you do have to be very precise. Now for top spins, we're giving it a 9.5. It's personally my favorite blade to topspin with, which is one of the reasons why I use the BioSC, which has the exact same composition as this blade. For blocking, it's an eight, but as mentioned, there's not too much forgiveness. So again, you do need to be precise. Now, finally for serve and receive, we've given this blade an 8.2. If you catch the ball right, you can produce a lot of spin and speed, putting your opponent under a lot of pressure, which is why a lot of pros use it. Now, when it comes to price, it's 10 euros more than the Viscari, as you can see here on the Butterfly website, coming in at 180 euros. So there we go guys, the Fan Zhendong AOC blade review. Now for me, this blade is a high risk, high reward blade in that when you do get in good position, play a quality shot, you're gonna get a lot of return on the ball, a lot of spin, a lot of speed, and put your opponents under pressure. I would say this is for aggressive players, players that do get in first, that are always on the attack. If you're a player that's a bit more passive, likes to block, likes to use the spin more, then probably an inner four style blade will be better suited for you. This is for advanced players, for high level players who are training a lot. Perhaps one reason why Fan Zhendong uses it. So guys, just want to give a massive shout out to Zhao Garado for his time in reviewing this blade of us. I had a lot of fun with him and what a beast of a player he is. 
So let us know in the comments below what other reviews you'd like to see us do. For now, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.